Uh, my name's Colby, and this will be the third and final video on using the Tech 2 to diagnose ABS issues on 2004 to 2012 Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon. Um, so what I've simulated is an open in the right front um, ABS sensor. Uh, <clears throat> the issue that I'm going to be showing you guys is basically if the wire gets cut. Um, I just unhooked the sensor. It's going to be doing the same thing as obviously as unhooking it. Um, so when I start it up, I don't even need it. I haven't even driven anywhere. So I've already, I just unhooked it. I'm already going to get an ABS fault because the computer's already checked the circuit and it sees that there's an open there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to power it up after we've started our vehicle because we're, we're going to be looking to try to diagnose whether it's not whether it's getting a signal or not so we're gonna set this up here we're gonna go to diagnostics we're gonna select our year Mine's 2005, we're going to select light duty truck, mine's a GMC, and the product code for GMC Canyons and Chevy Colorados is product line S. Select a Canyon, and we're going to go down into chassis. I don't have traction control, so we're going to go down into without contraction control. I'm going to select continue, select ABS, and we're going to, going to go into diagnostic trouble codes. Now, the sensor I've unhooked is the right front, so I should be getting a C0040, which is for the right front. If it was the left front, it'd be the same thing with Z0035. Um, with this code, especially if you have another issue, which is if the sensor is not gapped correctly, which there there is another how-to on the forum for that, and I'll link to that um, in the video, and I'll also link to it on the in the how-to on the forum. So we're going to go to DTC information like we did in uh, our first video. And we're going to go to current diagnostic trouble codes. Now if you see there it says C0040 for the right front wheel speed sensor circuit. Um, so that's exactly like what I said it was going to be obviously because I knew it was going to be. <laughs> uh, we're going to go back and we're just going to make sure that we're either we're getting a signal or we're not so we're gonna go back into the data view so sorry if I skip that step there so we're gonna go back out and then back into data display and we're gonna watch when we move um, so since we got to go for the right we're gonna watch the right so since it's unhooked we're not gonna get any signal but there is a chance that um, when you're doing this that you get sporadic signal and if you're getting sporadic signal, either you need to check your wiring or you need to set the gap. And in the how-to on the Nation for that, um, you'll be using a small screwdriver to uh, uh, basically pound in the sensor just closer into the into the hub, which will actually set the gap. Alrighty, so as you can see, we're we're only moving about one or two mile an hour, and you can already see that uh, the right front sensor is not going to work. that's all we need to do to really see I only moved about 10 feet and I can already see that that's gonna be the issue so what I will look for if this was actually an issue is I would look for right front sensor I would look check the wiring and then I would check the gap and once you've checked both of those things you can come back in here test it and once you've uh, fixed the issue so we'll, we'll fix mine real quick because it only takes a second here
see I just unhooked the sensor here. So now that that's hooked back up. We're going to go back into data display here. And when you look at that, it came right back online. So I'm still showing a code on the dash, but the next step after we've you know solved our issue is we want to go back out of the data display. We want to go into the diagnostic trouble codes and we want to clear our DTC information for our ABS module. So we want to clear that. And then we'll go back into Diagnostic Trouble Codes and click DTC Information. Click Current Diagnostic Trouble Codes. And we have no codes. And that's how you solve some basic uh, ABS issues on 2004 to 2012 GMC Canyon Chevy Colorado. Um, for basically any other issues, um, uh, it'll probably be something you can probably use this for it. Um, and since you've already seen kind of the the data view inside of here, you can actually look at um, other parameters. So you can actually see we can actually see our ABS lamp command which mine's off now. We can we can actually even test these motors and these dump valves if you'd like. So to test those, we'll go into special functions, ABS motor, and you, you can actually, so it's gonna make you, if I click on without doing anything here, so I'll, I'll click on here, it'll say apply a brake pedal. So I'll push on the brake pedal this might be hard to hear, but I'm going to click on with my phone down here. Yep, so it'll actually kick on the ABS motor to test, and you can actually see if it's working or not. So if you're having issues with the ABS motor, you can test it here. Um, you can also tell us solen solenoids for all the dump bells and everything like that. So there's all that functionality inside this tech too. And I think that basically covers it for this video. Um, yeah, I think that's it.